So it's been a while since I've purchased gear because I get so many freebies to try out and to test. I haven't had to buy gear in quite a while. However, I found this Dietz number 50 oil burning lantern and I wanted to give it a try. So, so this little fella is eight and a half inches tall and it burns uh, with six ounces of lamp oil for 15 hours. So this will be great for my camping, my car camping, bushcrafting, um, and I'm going to try it on my next excursion. Let's add some oil to it and test it out before we take it to the to field and see how it performs. Let's go ahead and get some oil in it. So what I have here is just your normal lamp oil that I got at a hobby store. And you can adjust the wick right here. And I'm going to allow the wick to soak up some of that lamp oil for a little bit, and then we'll try to light it. The, now that the wick is fully soaked in, I'm going to raise the globe with the lever, which is exposes the wick to light it. Now you probably could get a lighter in there Let's try it. Oh, that was easy. And we'll turn it down. Look at that. That is cool. And one of the main purposes for this lantern is also the heat. You know, I, I use the candle lantern and the tarps. Now when I try to use a real lantern. And this throws off a lot more heat. So we're gonna try this with our tarps and see how much more heat we can create. Really excited about this. Can't wait to give this a try. So with that being said, let's take it to the field and give her a test. So we're gonna light the little lantern. It's got this little handle. It raises the globe. It's that easy. And we lower the globe. There you go. So I'm in the classic uh, A-frame tarp shelter with the doors on it. You know, I shorten it up a little bit so I can put the doors down to keep the heat in. And I'm using the little lantern for light and heat. Um, but it is, uh, it's the, there's fumes. It does emit fumes, whether it's from the lamp oil or from the, where it's new, I don't know. but. Uh, probably not going to keep it burning while I'll close the doors. So once I close the doors, I'll turn it off and or turn it off then close the doors and hit the hay. But it's still neat. I really like it. So we've got our hero clip. Our lantern. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty cool, isn't it? So would a lantern like this be good for bushcraft? For me, no. Now you might be able to use it, and if you do use it for bushcraft or survival, uh, and you make a video, let me know. I'd like to see it. Or if you have pictures on Instagram of it, whatever, that'd be really cool. I don't see a use for it because 
the main thing for me, the main drawback for me is the way the oil spills out uh, very easily. I'm going to put a gasket on it just to see if that helps, but I still don't trust it enough. Um, it does put out a lot of heat. However, the fumes and the smell are just too much in a small tent or tarp. It would be good in a shanty or a shack. I've enjoyed the nostalgia and the aesthetics of it. It's been uh, nice to hang up and, and watch it burn. And I'm trying to burn most of the oil out so that when I hike out of here, I don't slosh oil out of it everywhere. But anyway, so that's the Dietz 50 Lantern. Thanks for watching another gear review. Uh, and thanks for watching another episode of Ugly Tent. And we'll see you next time. So I did find some gaskets for the cap, for the uh, lantern, the Dietz lantern here. This is about what I used. Just picked up an assortment of gaskets, put it on the cap, and then when you seal it up, see this, you can feel it grab, and now it doesn't leak. So it still may leak from up top here if it's tipped over too far, but for the most part, that's going to keep it from sloshing out while you're walking. So, again, thanks for watching another episode of Ugly Tent. Thanks for watching this gear review on the Deets 50. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time.